I mean, we always talk about, um, I mean, that was early in the game, too. You got to play it in the inning. You're just trying to win innings. So, I mean, we get out 9-1. It's kind of, I mean, it's not fun working back. It's something you got to do. So, I mean, we just tried to win innings, and turned out we got a big one there. I think we put up a big uh, seven. Yeah. Seven to one inning, so. Yeah. You yourself raised your average from 277 to, I think, 293 today. So, what was this working that, for you? That's, yeah. that's not what you're talking about there. Um, today, honestly, as a hitter, I mean, hitters can match me. It's one of those days where I was invincible at the plate. After that first at bat, I mean, every time I went up to the plate, it was kind of, I know I'm getting a hit here. And then that last at bat, I kind of just got a little anxious. But, yeah, today was one of those days where I just felt really comfortable at the plate. I was seeing the ball really well. And, Worked out well for me. You guys seem like you're having as much fun as you've had all year like when you guys were rallying back. Just what was it like in the dugout, on the field, just the emotions when you're making that comeback? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, anytime you're making a comeback, the emotions are high, and especially when you get that lead. I mean, we're through the roof. And after that, I mean, it was not like we were taking it easy, but not, not coasting. But at the same time, it was like we got this game. Now, last time you had a big Friday night win was against Michigan, and you lost the next two games. So how important was it to come back after last night's win to get another big win today and like, really win the series? I mean, it's huge, especially going into, I mean, this game tomorrow, senior day, and especially for the Big Ten tourney, which we're still in contention for and trying to make it to. So to come out today and make that comeback and carry that momentum tomorrow is huge. Uh, Jim, everyone on the team with a hit, 18 hits on the day, the only one not getting a hit is James. How does it feel to have the entire team uh, running on all cylinders, basically, and just getting such an offensive presence going for you? I mean, when you don't have to rely on one guy, like, I mean, usually we're relying on Novak or Gearsy's bats. I mean, when everyone in the lineup's hitting the ball like that, I mean, it's just almost carefree. Like, you don't have a – you're not like, oh, Gearsy tensing up. When he comes up, if he gets that, you're like, oh, okay, that's it. But, yeah, when everybody's hitting the ball, it's, it's fun. And how was it for you, you know, no RBIs on the day, but three runs scored, four hits. How was it for you to try to be that guy to start things, start rallies, and kind of when you were behind 9-1, say to myself – say to yourself – you know, I need to get this going. I need to do something for this team to, to spark something. And you obviously spark something. How does it feel like that? Uh, that was the biggest thing for me. I mean, being down 9-1, I think I let off a couple innings. And, I mean, it's huge when you can you can come up down 9-1 and get a hit. I mean, it kind of doesn't deflate the other team. But when you can get a hit and start something like that, I mean, that's I, I wanted to take charge. I feel like our team was a little deflated when I went down 9-1. So I wanted, I wanted to be a leader there and try to get something going. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Appreciate it, guys. you know what? I'm I'm just I'm proud of our guys. They kept fighting, kept competing. Um, you know, uh, we dug ourselves out of a huge hole. Uh, but uh, hitters really picked up the pitchers today. Uh, we talk about it at the beginning of the year in the fall that there's going to be days where pitchers have to pick up the hitters, hitters have to pick up the pitchers. Um, and so today, our guys just kept fighting, and it's a great example and a great lesson to our team about. As long as you got a pitch left, you got a chance. So um, they kept fighting, kept playing. When you guys were down five nothing in the nine, would you rally the guys and say anything to them then, or did you just let them kind of figure it out? No, I mean, I didn't really say much to them after that. You know, our guys have been doing a pretty good job lately of of playing the game in the right way. Um, the first, you know, it wasn't until after they went up, uh, um, you know, actually when it was seven to one, um, I brought the guys up and just said, you know, um, actually said. We're going to win this game, but if we're going to, but in order to do that, this is how we have to do it. We have to, you know, pitchers. I don't need you to throw a complete game. I need you to win that inning. You know, I need you to, to get us off the field. You know, and hitters. You know, we're not going to hit a six-run home run. We need to, you know, we need to have put together some quality at bats and dugout. You need to take this thing over, and um, and they did, they did. So um, I wish I was that smart. I would go buy lottery tickets right now if I was. Obviously, production throughout the whole lineup, but Jim Haley was particularly impressive. Just, what's it like to have a guy like that and a sophomore, too, with the ability to produce the way he can? Well, it, it, I'm really proud of him. I mean, that was a great day. He's really starting to stay inside the ball a little bit more. And, and you know, again, I, I think really what the, a testament to look at is, you know, I don't know where he was a month ago average-wise, and now his average is all the way up to 294. Shows you how hot he is, you know. Seventy-seven going in, yeah. You know, yeah, so well, it helps. Yeah, I know four for five day helps, but you know that's that's a testament to him and and you know the approach, but also I think it's a testament to Coach Ader and the fact that he continues to work with these guys. You know, even though this, you know we're in the latter half of the season, we're you know, we're still trying to coach them and develop them and make them better, and they're they're being coachable. So.
during that seven run inning, it seemed like the players were having as much fun as you know I've seen them have in two years. Was it like for you as a coach to see guys just you know run off the field every time they score a run, high fiving, clapping their hands? It's what's that like? Yeah, you coach? know what? It's a lot of fun. But you know what? It's been like that a little while lately. I mean, it's fun to be in the dugout with these guys. You know I mean, again, I, think about it. You know, you look at our record. You, you you know, we still are fighting for a chance to play in the Big Ten tournament. Is it slim? Yeah, but. You know, it takes a lot of character and it takes a lot of, you know, it takes a choice to go out there and say, all right, I'm going to keep playing. I'm not just going to play out the string. I'm going to play. We're going to play. I'm going to play hard. And, and uh, so it's been a lot of fun being around these guys. Um, five and a third, five and a third from Jack Anderson throughout the past two games, not giving up a run. Two hits last night, two walks today and a strikeout. Uh, how great is it for you in terms of confidence level and reliability to have a guy like that at the, the end of your bullpen to, to bring in when you need to win games late? You know, I, I really, it's that's a great question, and it's it's such an advantage to have that. It's such a, a nice thing to have, and and he comes in, he cleans things up, and quiets it down, and and uh, you know, it's one of those things that you don't want, ever want to take for granted because he's getting big outs and getting, you know, eating up some serious innings and, and getting us getting us helping us get wins. So um, he's a, he, it's a nice thing. He makes you look real smart at the end of a game.